so i recently dived into um, laravel and i everything has just been working so well but i got to a point where i'm listing some of the things that i have on the database because i've actually done something like models already and i'm listing the data that i have on the database on my um, on the front page of the application but i'm getting this particular error right now which is basically a controller that is actually i'm trying to list something from the database because it's telling me that this particular target class listing controller does not exist but i'm taking a look at my uh, application right here that controller does exist because if you go to my app right now and you go to uh if you go to http and you go to controllers you're going to notice that that controller actually exists so this is the controller okay and i've actually imported the control right here using this particular link but i don't know why it's actually showing me that error so i got two functions right here okay the first one is going to uh, be that of the index page which i'm going to basically return all the listings that i have on the database then after that i have another function that lists the individual um the gigs or listing that I have on the database. So I, I tried to research about it and I figured out that when you go to my web.php right here, you see that I've created the route and I'm trying to import that particular class right here. So I'm listing, this is the listing controller class that is actually complaining against that it does not exist, but I have actually shown you right here. So this is the class. So I figured that the mistake that I made. Um, or maybe the error that I made is where I'm actually trying to import it right here. So I did not actually get that right. So from my website, they say that I have to use the full path. Okay, so if you hover on this, you're going to see that the, the full path is actually going to display. Okay, so I need to go to the app, go to HTTP controller, then the listing controller. So I'm going to go ahead and then replace this with that particular full path right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take this line away and paste this. Um, sorry about that. Let me change that. So this is going to be. All right. So I got that copied right now. So let me go ahead and paste it. And this is the full path to that place. Okay. So I have that pasted right there. So I'm going to save the changes. And if we go to my browser right now, I want to refresh to see whether those things um, is going to come back. Okay. Say not found okay um of course you are not found let me check to find out why that error is displaying okay <coughs> let us go and check why this error is actually happening i think uh, if you go to let's go back a little bit this is my exam and if you open my HT exam and I have my Lara, okay, so I will have this public folder to be outside. And this is a mistake. I don't know when I actually put that out. So I need to drag this back into this folder, which is called Lara Git. So once you do that and you go back to your browser and you refresh, you see that you get that actually back, okay? Even though that's not the really the major error that we want to solve on this, the major error that we just solved was the one that uh, consigns this particular what is it called this particular line so including this line solved the, uh, the earlier error that we actually have so that's actually what i want to show you guys in case you're having some scenario and you can correct that using that thanks and i'll see you in the next one